on County Final coming this Sunday. This is, I was looking at the 21st century. This will be the sixth time you've played. In the other five, two wins for, for both Ballyhale and yourselves and one draw. What have those games been like? Last year they've been brilliant. Um, I suppose I've been involved in a few of them as well. So, um, look, the, the calibre of player Ballyhale have, we all seen it last year. Um, <clears throat> going on to win the All Ireland final with probably, you know, nearly a kind of under 21 team, if you like. Um, but they're a phenomenal club and have been for the last you know, decade or maybe 12 or 13 years. But look, we're, we're kind of quietly confident as well. Didn't have the best of years last year, but and the year previous to that we got to the county final, but you know, never really kind of threatened to win it either. That was Dixborough, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, so look, we're, we're delighted where, with where we are. Um, I suppose the aim was to, to get here and we're here now and hopefully you know, we can do ourselves justice on Sunday. And you know, do the best we can, and that's all we can. That's all we can do. You must have had a few tasty encounters with them. Are, are there any games that you've played against them over the years, Ballyhale, that stand out to you? Yeah, well, obviously 2011 because because of my own performance that day. Was it 111 or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't shoot anyway, so um, that was obviously brilliant. And you know, you know, when when you win the county final, I knew obviously Jackie had been captain in Kilkenny uh, before that, so I knew if I if we won the county final, I was going to be captain in Kilkenny. For the following year so that was a huge incentive for me personally and it was great to finally to finally do it you know when we really weren't expected to win mm. um they had a star studded team at, at the time but like we just had ferocious work rate and you know we had good hurlers as well but probably not mm. to their level um but look um i suppose we felt kind of we felt like we had left it behind us the first day and and um like rigney then kind of quickly brought us around to the fact that we're still there you know we still have another chance and and you know we took it the second day then thankfully like people would have assumed that you get older jackie Tyrrell get older and all of a sudden there'd be a bit of a, a downturn because it's not like connor brown is probably the exception of guys that have appeared in the championship recently mm -hmm. and kind of as a starter but like for example like jackie was coming in a full forward and now he's back at full back am i right in saying yeah, that yeah. and you found a new place at center back so what's that been like well it, like i've enjoyed it you know sometimes it's a change is as good as a rest and um, I suppose the big thing for me was, you know, I had groin and hamstring and hip trouble and back trouble earlier on in the year and I got that sorted, which was huge for me. And look, I'm just delighted that I'm able to kind of steady the ship a small bit, if you like, a centre-back. Um, we were having a bit of issue with kind of the centre-back position with who would we play there and things like that. So look, I'm delighted that I've been back there and kind of it has solved it somewhat. Um, but like you say, look, Jackie was only coming back when he went down full forward. He'd he'd uh, an Achilles injury, so that was the reason he kind of went on. Was he any good up there? Full forward, he wasn't too bad. I'd say yeah. he'd make a full forward now in his forties. Target man. Uh, yeah, but look, he's gone back full back now, and you know, sure, look, we all know what Jackie can do as well. So um, I suppose him being full back, and do you know what? It's it, it actually suits the two of us because he's well able to talk to me in front of him, and I can talk to him as well. And, you know, we have a good understanding there as well, so mm. it's working well. So all you have to do is try and stop TJ Reid on Sunday. Yeah, no mean feat, but sure, look, I suppose you want to challenge yourself yeah. against the best, and obviously he is the best around at the moment. Um, and he's definitely the best in Kilkenny at the moment anyway, but look, I suppose I'd like to be challenging him maybe 10 years ago when, you know, I would have had to probably legs as well. But look, as I said, I like to challenge myself and no better challenge than, than TJ Reid on Sunday. Best of luck on it. Thanks.